just finished uh, Surat Al-Kahf recitation with sisters. Such a beautiful uh, start to the day, especially because it's while the sun is rising. So it's such a beautiful time to be sitting and reciting Quran and listening to sisters reciting and seeing the sun rise at the same time. It's such a peaceful time, alhamdulillah. Um, so done with that. And it's a little bit, uh, it's still a bit dark because I mean, the sun is still coming out and it's a little bit cloudy uh, so the lighting is a little bit uh, off but i really need a cup of coffee so i'm gonna go ahead and make that inshallah and then give you a quick reflection from what we've been doing in surat al-kahf inshallah <laughs> شراب الحب يعرف بالمذاق وما كل السقات له بساق شراب الحب يعرف بالمذاق وما كل السقات له بساق أحب الله عن أدب وصدق ولا أرضى سوى التقوى خلا شراب الحب يعرف بالمذاق وما كل السقات له بساق شراب الحب يعرف بالمذاق وما كل السقات له بساق أحب الله عن أدب وصدق ولا أرضى سوى التقوى خلاقي إذا ما عشت لا أنسى إلهي به أسمو من الأخرى المراقي يعز علي ترك الحب عندي ولو بلغت بي الروح التراقي تركت جميع خلق الله دوني شغلت عن الخلائق باشتياقي شراب الحب يعرف بالمذاق وما كل السقات له بساق That is a good cup of coffee, alhamdulillah. <laughs> it's really good, alhamdulillah. I realize that maybe I should explain the Surat Al-Kahf recitation because maybe not everyone knows what this uh, is. So basically every Friday, um, we meet virtually to recite Surat Al-Kahf together. It's open to all sisters wherever you are. So if you're watching this, you've never heard about it and you feel like you want to join, it's open to you. You're welcome to join. I'm going to include the link down below as well. It's basically just dinanchai.com slash sisterhood and you can sign up uh, there and you'll get the Zoom link and the details. So we recite Surat Al-Kahf every Friday and then at the end of the session, we look at one verse of uh, Surat Al-Kahf. So that week by week, inshallah, we get to understand Surat Al-Kahf on a deeper level uh, and it's a beautiful surah because there's different stories in it and so you can take different lessons for your daily life and so right now we finished the story of the two companions one who was really wealthy and had two gardens and they were lush and producing and so on and he became so swept into that and so distracted by all his wealth and children and everything that he had that he forgot Allah and became really arrogant and was boasting to a companion of his about his gardens and everything he has and um, that he doesn't believe that there is a final day coming and he basically he became so arrogant to the point that he felt that the wealth that he had was going to just last forever and even if there was a final day he would get even better than what he has here um, and so anyways, he became very arrogant. So we see his companion trying to advise him and trying to advise him that, you know, all, everything that you have is from Allah and to remember Allah and turn to Allah. That uh, at any 
point he could lose everything he, he has like this these things are temporary but anyways his companion remained in arrogance until it actually did happen where he lost everything and that's when he started just turning his hands and in, in regret seeing that he had nothing left anyways that's just like a quick summary of the story but there's so many reminders for us in our daily life from the story um the first one is that you know we also might get distracted by things that we have in this dunya and forget that these things are temporary, right? We might just get so used to having certain things that we just forget to thank Allah from them or Allah for them, right? Whether, you know, intentionally, unintentionally and so on, but we can all get swept into things that we forget that these blessings that we have come from Allah and we should turn to Him and thank Him and be grateful to Him and so on. And the other thing is that Sometimes we are so focused on praying for things in this dunya because we feel that we don't have enough in this dunya, whether we want to pray for wealth or pray for children or pray for status, whatever it is, that job title, that, that house that we want, that whatever, those possessions that we want, right? We want to grow in wealth, to grow in status and so on. And sometimes those are the things that we are so focused on praying on more than praying for you know a good return to allah and praying for jannah and just the ultimate goal right sometimes we get so focused on praying for what is in this dunya and sometimes also we get frustrated that allah is not answering and i'm not getting these blessings that i'm asking him for and why is he not answering me and so on and sometimes the things that we are asking for are things that we don't realize would actually take us away from Allah, would be potential distractions away from Allah, right? So sometimes it's a blessing to not have those things because you don't have those extra and additional distractions away from Allah. If that makes sense <laughs> I don't know if that is I don't know if that's coming across clear but basically what I'm trying to say is sometimes we're seeking things and praying for things basically we're praying to Allah for things that would distract us from him like we're turning to him and asking him for things that would take us away from him unintentionally I mean that's not necessarily our intention but sometimes that's what we are asking and and we're frustrated we're not getting those things and it's this this cycle of ingratitude anyways that's just a reminder from the story subhanallah just to be grateful for what we have now because there's so many things that we have now it's not necessarily two gardens and a river and so on but there are things that we probably have that we just take for granted and we're so used to having them that we feel that they would never run out, right? There are certain things like certain basics that we are just so used to have and having, we don't even think twice about. And so it's just a reminder to just try to sit with and recognize the things that we have and to just be grateful to Allah for those simple things, those basics that we just really take for granted. Like this man, how he just was so sure that all of these things would just always be for him. You know, we most likely are doing that with other things in our day-to-day -day lives anyway so just a point of reflection and just remembering to ask allah for the right things and make sure to also be focused on asking for the ultimate goal and not being so focused on gaining and gaining and gaining in this dunya but being more focused on gaining for the akhirah inshallah that's just a quick reflection from that story and we are over the next few weeks going to start the third story in surah al kaf so i'll try to do like a quick reflection on that um, and comment below also if you have like any other reflections because i'm sure as we hear different stories we all take different reminders from it so if you have any additional reminders feel free to comment below i'd love to like he read your reminders and reflections i'm gonna sit and drink my coffee in silence because i enjoy <laughs> these moments of silence before like the craziness of the day uh, starts i'm gonna do that um and then go from there <laughs> inshallah <laughs> إذا ما عشت لا أنسى إلهي به أسمو من 
أخرى المراقي يعز علي ترك الحب عندي ولو بلغت بي الروح التراقي تركت جميع خلق الله دوني شغلت عن الخلائق باشتياقي شوقي قد مزجت به رجائي على خوف فمن خوفي مذاقي ومن عرف المحبة عن يقين حرام أن يميل إلى فراقي وكيف أحب غير الله يوما وليس سواه في أكوان باقي شراب الحب يعرف بالمذاقي وما كل السقات له بساقي شراب الحب يعرف بالمذاقي وما كل السقات له بساقي This plant has been really happy lately. There's a couple of new flowers and a baby one also popping out. And yeah, I need to trim this one. He died recently. This one also needs a little bit of care. I went away for a few days and he got so sad. I forgot to water him before leaving, so I'm trying to <laughs> nurture him back to life. Okay, the battery is low and it's nearly 9 a.m. and I need to get to work, so it's a good time to close out. Um, I just wanted to ask real quickly if you have ideas or suggestions or things you want to see for Ramadan, whether before Ramadan, during Ramadan, and so on. I'm doing a running list of your suggestions. I have a couple of pages of suggestions from Instagram, but I thought I would ask here as well on YouTube. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below, inshallah since Ramadan is quickly approaching. I do have a couple of videos inshallah next week uh, coming out, Ramadan prep uh, videos, but I wanna hear more of your suggestions and so on. So I'm gonna close out before the battery of the camera dies inshallah. I hope you have a good rest of your weekend inshallah and take care. Assalamu alaikum.